Oh, I'm so bored. I don't know what to do. Ah, I don't know. I can suppose I could do a YouTube video. Oh, what's my tablet doing now? <laughs> Funny thing. I was about to record a video as well. Oh, wait. I'm recording it right now. Why to the E stands for E is brought by back and again in the video. Oh, it's only Wednesday and the clock is dead again. And it was only working on the dead battery this morning. Don't ask me why. I was going to do a track to laugh reaction video, but obviously one of the new Bleams videos I recorded on. But obviously, uh, my tablet died halfway through, so I thought, stuff it in a point. I can't just fake up the exotic laughter and joy that I apparently had. That sounded so wrong, but hey, let's move on. Also, I'd like to give out a little uh, note to someone that I talked to on Gmail, because let's just say that I have WhatsApp. Uh, so, if you don't have your phone, then okay, I'll see you probably Monday. Speaking of Monday, I've got to go back to prison. Yay! Oh, I've got to go back to prison. When I mean prison, you know what I mean, because every time I come home, I record videos, I usually talk about the most hated thing in people's lives. Although I would like to restart it all over again, but obviously I can't. Because on Tuesday I've got to go to the award evening because I've been nominated for an award uh, from my school. Well, not my school no longer, but hey, I'm an ex-student now. And then I got to wear that tie. Speaking of tie, uh, let's just say a certain person was in here and uh, was having fun. Uh, as in talking. Jeez Louise. And uh, I went I went into my wardrobe. Well, they went, well, she went into my wardrobe. I'm not going to say who. Well, it's obviously my girlfriend, but hey. She said, Drew, wear this. And I went, it's my old tie from when I was in year 7, year 11. Oh, and here's what the funny thing is. Where is it? Found this laying around. Me, uh, year 10 blazer. Or, oh, nah, whichever the two. I wonder what it's like to put this on. Apparently I can't put me on blazer on. Not bad. <laughs> I look like an absolute idiot. Yeah. So that's the blazer that I used to wear. And then I got the grey one which I got put back on. I've only just found my rings today. Well, when I say today, I meant like a couple of minutes ago. I put them in a box. And I'm wearing my dog collar, don't ask me why. Anyways. Today's video is obviously a video to do with the 13th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. I was thinking about this actually. I know it's kind of a bit past it, but I'm just hoping that this video doesn't get took down by YouTube. But hey, sacrifices. And that would have been my second strike. Anyways, uh, okay Google, show me a picture of the 13th Doctor's new Sonic. Have a look at these pictures. I like the fact that people make their own Sonic screwdriver and say, oh look I've got the 13th Doctor's. You watch, I bet yeah. By the end of this series of Doctor Who, of the 13th Doctor, and she guaranteed this is going to be the last Doctor of Doctor Who. I've just got a feeling it might be the end of it. I don't want to jinx it. But hey, Google. Hi Drew Spicer, what can I do for you? Open images of, well, whatever. Stuff it. Okay. Sonic screwdriver images. 
Here are some pictures that match. Right, 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 right. You know what? It's just being stupid. Let's go to Google. Not saying okay, Google. Hey. Let's shut up. Get. So. Thirteenth. We need to put the fourteenth doctor then. Thirteenth. Doctor. Sonic. Screw. Screw. Leaked clip. Boom! I'm obviously going to show the images. Images. Dirty dares. Right. Apparently, there we go. Full view, please. Yes, thank you. Okay. Ever want to see a silver <coughs> Sonic screwdriver? That's it. Brand new Sonic. It looks like a bent. Not even going to say what it is. Uh, let's just say it's got a, a handle that lights up red, and so does the so does the crystal on the top, which is held in by grey mesh. It looks like half of a shark's mouth. There, it looks like. Stuff's just poking out randomly. Then you got these little things, ridges, and then you got this bent handle. Like um, it's the dots have been compensating for something. Uh, I don't know what, but it's apparently the new Sonic screwdriver, and I think it looks horrible. Don't ask me why. Hmm. I wonder what CL Seven Four Four would think about about that. It's, and it, and also speaking of CL Seven Four Four, so I'm pronouncing it very wrong. I'm just tired. But his shout link is linked in the description below because he's um, got a shout out. I forgot to do that at the start of the video. So, I wonder what he thinks about this screwdriver. What do you think about it, Ciela? Probably won't be watching this, but hey, if you do, then please let me know what you think of this screwdriver. Which looks like um, something that a female would enjoy doing. But hey, let's not go into detail. It's family friendly. Shut up, Drew. Hey, now, where do, is the 12th Doctor Sonic? I would like to see the 13th Doctor carry this around. Like, okay, it's the 12th Doctor's. Yes, the 12th Doctor used Matt Sonic, okay? He used it during, like, how many series? And he's only used this in one series, as I know of, because I don't really used to watch it as much. That's because I've been busy, and I'm still busy today. In fact, the 11th Doctor was known as flicking his screwdriver. Oh, wait. That's a uh, non-flicking version. In fact, this is the one I barely use because it's brand new still. Here's a flickability, fl flickable one. You know, the thing that Matt Smith likes to do a lot. Peter. Speaking of Peter, he's in town. Because he's recording something about the land of green ginger, something in Hull. Don't ask me what the land of green ginger is, it's made by whatever. Land of green ginger. Land of green ginger. What on earth is a land of green ginger? Don't know. But hey, Sonic. That's what we're speaking about, not land of green ginger. So, Peter hit carrying this around. Obviously, it was Matt Sonic, and uh, when these were released as a toy, you know, the basic releases like you usually get with the original, uh, where you press the button to extend it, and then people was like, people like Volkswagen 07 uh, had to modify it like day in, day out, trying to get it right, and character options just kept getting it wrong until the single button version and the touch control, in fact. If you've got the touch control version, then please be careful with it because it's absolutely stupid. 
Well, I don't mind it, but hey, it's a great Sonic, but it doesn't last for a week. That's how come it's all beaten and battered up. So, always go for the single button version or the generic ones, because hey. In fact, when Matt Smith was, a, was the Lanth Doctor, I knew someone across the street from me who I went to primary with who had his screwdriver and I always wanted one. I remember getting this, you know, the projector screwdriver from... Oh, on my birthday. I can't remember what age was I when I got it. But hey, it was a great toy. Anyways, it looks like a Dalek's eye socket. Don't ask me why, but hey. And then I saw the, the basic releases, you know, the one that didn't extend, like the Wave 1 and 2s. And, uh I always wanted one that can always extend, and uh, I finally got one, which was the uh, touch control one, and then after that broke, I was thinking, right, I need a new one, till like last year, before Christmas, in fact, I used my Christmas money, I think I did, and I did a video on these, I bought two of these screwdrivers, in fact, the one I just had out now was the one that was from the box that I actually don't barely use that one as much but hey Sonic, in fact the batteries are dying and then finally he started using Sonic sunglasses Wearable technology, what brought back the TARDIS. In fact, that kind of was a reference of from the 10th Doctor. In fact, on Modbro, whatever you want to call it, I can't even remember the name of it, but hey, it's something that you can watch anything you want on it. And it's got constant streams of Doctor Who on it as well, and I've been watching it today. And the 10th Doctor was, had his hand in the tank, you know, where he got his hand cut off from Christmas special, you know, and then Donna Noble had to... Uh, was in the TARDIS when it was crashing and destroying itself and the Doctor was trapped with Davros. Then Sarah Jane was in it. You know Sarah Jane from Tom Baker's era, you know, and Pete, John Pertwee's. In fact, the first ever da actual time when Davros was actually in Doctor Who um, was during the fourth Doctor's era called Jaces of the Daleks. I've actually got it on DVD. But at the minute it's boxed up in there. And speaking of Doctor Who merchandise, I've still got the left Doctor's Tides playset upstairs. It's boxed up in my old bedroom. Uh, I've got a browser PlayStation just to move down here. Because my sister wanted a bigger room. But hey, she's even got a bigger room now. But hey, what am I saying that for? This is about Sonic Screwdriver, not about stuff that's been boxed up for years. Um, Yeah, it's 12th Doctor. I was only used a screwdriver like for one series, sort of. I can't remember, but as you first time he's used it was in Hell Bent, you know, with the not Hell Bent, was it? Yeah, no. Yeah, Hell, no, yeah, no. I'm getting confused, but hey. In fact, this is the second one I have. The first one's still in that plastic thing there but yeah the 13th doctor screwdriver looks like um kind of crooked and so much ways um in fact you've got a bent lightsaber you've got a bent magic one from harry potter uh then you get a bent sonic screwdriver what next a bent star trek visa <laughs> shut up <laughs> so yeah, and from the background that the 13th Doctor's in, uh, if it's going to rotate itself, uh, it looks to be like she's in some sort of lab, because she's got them specs on, and then you just get the Sonic thinking, help me, what did I do to become like this? 
Seriously, I don't mind a screwdriver like this. I know loads of people hate the design of screwdriver. In fact, I love it because it's my favourite colour blue. It's got two favourite colour modes on it. And it's got two different settings, which you can just do. And I love that. But I wish the Thetsu Doctor would have carried this around with her, you know, during the, say, the, the new series. And then in the next two series, she has an actual different screwdriver. You know, just to, you know, because the Doctor does cling on to their old screwdrivers after the times. Because there's a new Doctor, it doesn't mean you have to necessarily keep changing the same screwdrivers. In fact, I'll, I still liked Peter Capaldi using the 11th Doctor screwdriver. In fact, this is a one company version. No, I don't want to practice. Shut up, mate. Sign it back on the display now, so I don't have to do mask curves all day. Um, in fact, I wonder what the new TARDIS is going to look like. You know, the interior. We're seeing the outside, which kind of looks like... Oh, yeah, fishes out from there. It kind of looks like that, but obviously with the black coloured label and then it's all squat and like the classic era TARDIS. I don't like it. I want the In fact I liked the new series TARDIS a lot better than the classic looks because it looks too squashed up like more like a telephone box than anything else. And every time I see a telephone box I'm just tempted to just go inside and just say, is that the doctor's TARDIS? No it isn't, it's a telephone box. Paint it blue. In fact, yeah, it kind of looks more like something that you'd want to enjoy with than a sonic screwdriver. In fact, it has an actual red light on it. Um, in fact, I can actually see if there's an image of it. If it's ever... No, it's not going to show me. Um... I would watch the leaked clip, but obviously I'm not going to do that because I'll really get copyrighted, etc. So the, the 13th Doctor screwdriver looks stupid. Uh, I know that peop some people like it. I don't know. I'm not really keen on it. In fact, I've built Sonic screwdrivers. In fact, I haven't built any more yet. But if this, if I was a 13th Doctor, I would have picked at least. All right, she's going with a classic TARDIS design. She's going with a classic esque look. She could probably go with a hybrid tenant screwdriver, which I bung together, which has been sorted. Or she could have gone with the hybrid John Pet with screwdriver. Don't ask me why. You know, extendable, telescopic, micro switch, oil, oil, oil. And I feel like that screwdriver should have like a different sound effect. No, not the usual sound effects like you'll get off here. I think it's going to have a, a sound effect where it's looking more like the classic effects. Like the... Say... Mm. A sound effect that we don't really hear a lot often on Doctor Who. Or it could be a different one. In fact, it could be a new sound effect. And for a type of Doctor, it would suit her. But... I would recommend just uh, using one of these at least, not the bent screwdriver because it looks like she's just literally uh, a bit of chewing gum, bit of tape. There we go, I got a screwdriver. What next? A sonic TARDIS key. I suppose so. A sonic switch, a sonic spray can, a sonic door handle, a sonic lightsaber. In fact, that is an actual thing that someone actually built. It's not actually in Doctor Who, so don't get any hopes up. But yeah, I would have at least gone for a screwdriver looking like that. You know. It's actually got a button on it as well. It doesn't do anything, except for me do that. I haven't built any more customs, but hey, if I could, then I would. And then I was working on this the other day, still. You know. Upgrading it, so that's what I always do is upgrade my stuff. To be honest, it looks too bland. Like this. Setting doll. 
not doing anything. Your thing, light up blue. Looks kind of like a sonic pen, but hey. Nothing going up on the bottom yet. You've got a screw. And then you can just pull it apart and put it in the box. That's at least what my screwdriver would have looked like, maybe. I like the way that people like to make their own screwdrivers and say, Hey, do you want to see the 13th Doctor screwdriver that I would have used? Here you go. Next thing you know, they're going to be making um, Sonic um, Sonic bobbles. Hang on. Rebel technology. Like the Sonic sunglasses. Even better. Sonic bobble. Oi, 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 oi. I, just, I don't like the look of that Sonic screwdriver. To me, for her type, like Sarah Jane Smith, she had a Sonic lipstick. Alright. Now, Sonic lipsticks are actually, it's kind of like a um, disguisable James Bond type of esque design. Because it looks like a lipstick, but it's actually Sonic. What about Sonic Pencil? Sonic Pen. In fact, a Sonic Pen does actually count as a James Bondy look type esque look. I don't know, something that doesn't look like a bench, awkward shit. I'm not going to say the last word, but hey, that's what I think of it. I don't know. I would have preferred to have used this. Carry out the 12th Doctor screwdriver. That's what I would have done if I was a doctor. Or at least use one of the classic screwdrivers. You know. Mash them all up like John Hurt's screwdriver was. You know. The War Doctor screwdriver. That was a modified... No, say 12th Doctor screwdriver then. A modified 4th Doctor screwdriver. Just with the red LED. Okay. Basic, but quite good. So yeah, there you go. My thoughts on the 13th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Now when the new TARDIS, you know, when the, the TARDIS comes out, you know, the actual interior, guaranteed it's going to look like at least something that doesn't look anything like a TARDIS. In fact, you watch one of these days in this series, they're going to be thinking, hmm, well all the Doctor Who life, we've been having this, Pentagon shapes, what 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 shape is the actual console itself? I can't remember. I just get mixed up with shapes these days. Don't ask me why. You get stick them in the middle and then you got the column going up, leading all the way to the sky. Well not sky but roof. You got all these pipes and stuff coming out. You watch you'll be thinking, hmm, well in Matt Smith's and uh Capaldi's TARDIS we had these side panels with the actual switches and stuff on. Well, what about if it was all the way around and you get like computer monitors around as well? You know, like a, a, a watchtower? And then around the area, you know, them round things, they would actually contain like special liquid to cool down the tariffs. I'm thinking too much. But hey, BBC in it. Doctor Who. When the thirteenth stops, when the, when when it's gonna come out, I'll let let you know when the date's due to be released. In fact, we do have an idea of what the capture options toy will look like as the actual figure. I'm not gonna do it right now because I got bored. I'm tired. I just wanna go to bed, and it's Thursday tomorrow. Hang on, is it Thursday now? Yeah, it's Thursday now, so it's Friday tomorrow, and then it's Saturday, and then it's Sunday, and then it's. Back to hell I go. But hey, it's not going to be the last time I'm going because I've got to go back for the results in August next month. Great. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Sorry, it's a bit ranting about more than the, more of the Capaldi and all that stuff than the actual effective Doctor. But hey, if you guys like the screwdriver, please let me know. And also, CLS744, please actually reply to what I said about 
if you like the screwdriver or not, because I guarantee it's going to say it looks alright, but I'm not going to be touching that. Hey, let me drop my phone. Don't forget to press a like. In fact, if you want your day to be the greatest day of your life, all you got to do is press the like button. That's all you got to do. And then, boom, all your wishes come true. Well, obviously not a million quid or a million dollars or whichever the money you, you, whichever the money department is ever in. But hey, it could be better than, congratulations. So, and also if you are new, please press the subscribe button and also turn that notification on. Just so you can be notified when the next upload and I'm just getting tired already. I need to drink water, but the water tastes too warm because it's been hot over the few years, uh, not years, few days. In fact, a month now in the UK. <sighs> then the next thing you know, hosepipe bans. Again, not going to go into banter. You know, that's just bantering. I'll let you all have a great night. In fact, by the time you're watching this, it's probably morning or afternoon, evening. Or I'll probably be asleep. <sighs> Can't be bothered. I'll see you all later. Have a great day. Bye.